This tutorial shows how to modify preset scenes in Show Controller Live. We want to modify a certain scene in Show Controller Live and therefore we right click on a very scene and the scene editor opens up. You can see two different things here. First of all, we have the trick film event you already know from Show Controller Real Time and we have an effects event underneath. We want to program another event and in this case we don't want to use Scanner 1 but we want to assign this secondary effect to Scanner 2. So we double click an empty area and the effects dialog shows up. We select a trick film event and we can adjust the length here but we want to have full length. To do so we just press the key F and the trick film event automatically spans the whole duration of this scene, which is very handy, I think. We want to change the pattern here and we double click again on the trick film. And now we've got the option to select the very effect we want to use. I like this one very much. So I take this one. As I have the same one for the beginning and the end, there is no morphing in between and no animation, but just this pattern. And this is just enough for now. I select OK. And you can see in the preview window down here that it's uh, the two frames just at the same scanner. So I double click again. And I select Target Scanner 2. So the Scanner 1 and Scanner 2, they do different things. Um, we just uh, close this one. As I've adjusted the output routing, I go back to Program Scanner to make sure that the routing looks properly. So for now, we only see one animation here, but the second one just disappeared. To manipulate on that one, we open the control center because we need to assign the hardware to different tracks. So you can see hardware number two, it's not supposed to do the same as hardware number one, but the thing on hardware Two. So we have track line one and track line two. Uh, in this case, you can see the animation here. Here it's overlaid, and here you can see it actually split up to the two different hardware output channels. We right click again and we add an animation to the secondary scanner. Uh, in our case, we just want to rotate it. Um, we put the rotation to the z-axis, select it, press F, and you can, can already see it rotate down here. Um, as with all other effects, we can manipulate on that one pretty easily here. We can do a sign line, for example, and you can see it rotating in a sign way. So we just programmed two different outputs to two different hardware interfaces.